Hello, my name is Vanessa and this is the Pollination Project. And through this video game, I'm going to show you guys how the male flower transports his sperm to the flower, the egg. This is the game Overwatch, and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to compare it to this situation. So, me, I'm the pollinator and I'll show you guys why. This red box, the red looking box, is the male flower. And the thing in front of me is the pollen. And as you guys can see on the top of the screen, the bar, I'm capturing it. This thing in front of me is the payload. In this case, it's called the pollen. Once I capture it, this point, the objective is to be able to move the pollen to the female flower. I'm going to escort the pollen to the female flower, the egg. This is why I'm called the pollinator. And this is the seed dispersal because I'm transporting the pollen to the female flower. But as you can see, whenever I'm near the pollen, it starts moving. When I'm away, it stops. Forward keeps moving, get away, it stops. I have to stop near the pollen so I could keep moving forward. This enemy, every time he's near the pollen, it stops. And in order for me to keep pushing the pollen forward, I have to kill him. This is preventing cheating. I have to stop the enemy. So at the end of the map, it's going to be the egg. This is the seed dispersal. Since I'm transporting the pollen to the egg at the very end, and I'll show you guys in a little bit. Just pretend this is a female flower, because at the very top of the screen, there's going to be a white arrow that's pointing at the objective where I need to put the pollen at. And that white objective is the female flower. In the next video, I'm going to show a short gameplay on how this is processed in a real game. Class.